Hey, Dr. Calarco, how does THC affect acetylcholine? First, acetylcholine, or ACH, is a, a neurotransmitter, which is really critical for many functions in the human body. Things like uh, memory, uh, motivation, cognition, and also affects our gait and motor. For example, uh, conditions that have really low acetylcholine are like Parkinson's disease. There's other things as well, but that's one of the major ones. Having healthy acetylcholine levels is really important for healthy body. What's really fascinating is that some studies uh, recently have shown that some of the cannabinoids can stimulate an increase in acetylcholine. Pretty cool, right? So how do they do that? Well, they do it by inhibiting what's called acetylcholinesterase, which is basically an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. So by blocking that, it helps the levels rise, which can be potentially a good thing. Now, what's also fascinating about it, at least to me, is that Delta-9 THC, traditional you know stuff in marijuana, Delta-8 THC, right? Also, even uh, CBD and CBN, some of these other uh, lesser psychoactives, but they're still cannabinoids, they all seem to some degree to do this, which is kind of cool. So there could be some potential benefit there, but again, you need to weigh the risk rewards. If you're taking some form of THC, depends how you take it, you know, how potent, et cetera. Is it laced with anything else? That could offset some of the benefits you get from the rise in uh, acetylcholine levels. But yeah, it's very fascinating. Be sure to follow us for more recovery and addiction information. If you're struggling and need help, contact us in our profile below.